All right, so Common Rider Geats episode one's been subbed. It was pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. I really like the touch of the beginning having that shoreline shot and everything. That's just like a slightly different angle from Toei's usual shore shot that their logo shows over during theatrical productions. Ace is a hard character to really pin down at first, but as soon as you see him starting to save people in the show, you can tell that he seems like he's really a good guy at heart. I'm not sure how to feel about Shiro, about um, Heiwa or Neon, our other most likely heroic riders, but yeah, just before we get into like a quick plot breakdown, basically there's this Desire Grand Prix meant to fight those Yamato monsters, or however you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. And the first thing I'll say about the Pon Yamato, I, I know it's meant to be a chess game. I know that's what it's meant to be. But Jesus Christ, the the monster foot soldiers this season, they look very phallic. Let me put it that way. I mean Maybe I just spend too much time on the wrong side of Pixiv, but... Yeah. Anyway. We actually opened the series on the... in media res during um, the last round of one of these Desire Grand Prix. These battle royales held to protect the city and the world from these Yamato monsters, and also for the common Riders to battle for the right to reorganize the world as they see fit. Which already leaves a bunch of questions. How is the ga game and these monsters tied together? Um, uh, what are all the Riders' wishes and things like that? The polar bear guy dies like two seconds in. I say two seconds, it's more like five minutes, but yeah, uh, the first rider we see transformed really does not last long in the show whatsoever. Uh, kind of saw that coming with the really goofy looking suit, but, but the choreography was really solid. I really, really like, um, Geats's design. It's just, well, here's a little bit about me from back when I was in beta before I started VTubing and everything. I often styled myself after foxes and the like, so I'm a little bit biased towards Geats already. Just from the fox design, our first fox common rider. It's really ex exciting, really cool, and it's weird to see a rider besides birth so liberally use a firearm, honestly. But yeah, um, these foot soldiers flood into the town because it's the last round of the Desire Grand Prix Battle Royale. Um, you see Common Rider Buffa, the guy with the zombie um, belt buckle gimmick. Common Rider Shiro, Shiro is up. I'm just going to say Shiro? Because, I mean, he's a Shirokuma, a polar bear. And, of course, our protagonist, Ace Ukio, a.k.a. Common Rider Geeks. Um, the three riders battle out against these monsters and everything, and then a giant one appears. Uh, Geeks saves some people from it, and then kicks the giant one's ass while, uh beating up all of the rest of the remaining foot soldiers and everything. And he's declared the winner of the Desire Grand Prix. Short series. But really though, um, the world gets reset after that, and I don't know whether he's able to get rid of the Desire Grand Prix with a wish, because, well, he didn't this time. Um, I, we're really left questioning what exactly did he change about the world? In my, in my opinion, that's a major question anyway. 
and all a couple of the point of view civilian characters get elevated to the rank of being a common rider during this. And so you have Kewa and this girl named Neon, which honestly just makes me imagine what if a VTuber had been drafted into being one of these riders for the Battle Royale. Joining it, and we'll see where things go from there, but it looks like Keats is going to be the defending champion. I feel like the main crux of this plot is going to be a twist we haven't seen yet where it turns out what ace changed about the world was something super super important and the reason why he's going to be fighting so hard in the desire grand prix that's to come with all these newer riders and buffa since he survived is because he feels the need to defend the world he's created and prevent anyone else from unwishing his wish basically but the choreography is really solid in short i like it there's a few different sources you can find this at if you're a toku fan you already know where to look but yeah those were my thoughts if you have any thoughts of your own go ahead leave a comment uh maybe subscribe and like the video i don't know anyway this has been teletran 4 Signing out.